Hey guys, in this video we're going to talk about how to create a shared folder between an Ubuntu guest system and the host computer when running a virtual machine using VirtualBox. The process is pretty simple, but it's important you follow every step in the order we do them for it to work properly. When we're finished, we'll be able to access any of our folders on the host machine as if they were just another device connected to this machine. To begin with, you'll need to enable the VirtualBox Guest Edition CD. To do this, open the Devices menu in VirtualBox and click Insert Guest Edition CD. Now we need to install Module Assistant. This will allow us to properly install guest editions. If we skip this step, we'll get an error saying we're missing kernel headers. To install Module Assistant, open a terminal and type sudo apt-get install module-assistant. Next type in sudo m-a prepare. Now we're ready to run guest editions. In your terminal, type in cd slash media slash your username. The VirtualBox Guest Edition CD name can be different depending on what version you have downloaded. To find out, type ls into the terminal and press enter. This will display the name of the folder. Now type in cd followed by the folder name that was just displayed and press enter. We can now run the program and install guest editions. Type in sudo sh vbox linux editions.run. Keep in mind this can be case sensitive. If you're having trouble finding the file, use the ls command as in the previous example. At this point, our guest operating system is ready for shared folders. To share a folder with the guest, go to Devices menu at the top of VirtualBox, select Shared Folders and Shared Folder Settings. In this window, you'll find a folder icon with a plus sign on the side. Press this button to make a new share. Select your folder path. This can be any folder on your host system as long as there are no issues with it being password protected. We'll select Auto Mount and make permanent. As one last step, we'll need to add the user to a group so there are no permissions issues accessing the shared folder. In the terminal, type in sudo add user your username vboxsf. Since there have been a lot of configuration changes involved, we'll need to restart the system. Now we can access the shared folder under the media folder. It is possible to mount this folder somewhere else on your computer, but it isn't necessary to get it working properly, so we won't really cover that in this video. Thanks for watching this video on setting up shared folders in Ubuntu on VirtualBox. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe to our channel.